This is gonna be a very short video because I have a tip for you that is short. Let's say you are trying to get a light, a strobe, something like that, very low to the ground and your light stands are just too tall. That's where something like this could really come in handy. Hey, this is Scott Weinkiewicz, a storyteller with a camera talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to get your lights low to the ground, maybe for a background, with that. This is a background light stand from System Pro. I've had this for many years. It is pretty beat up, but it still does the job. This, this little stand came with a kit that I had, and I, I don't even, it was one of the first lighting kits I ever purchased. It was very inexpensive and uh, there's a lot of plastic on this, but this still does the job and it does it fairly well, except it's really best with like a, a on-camera strobe, but on one of these. It, once you add something heavy, like I've been putting my Godox AD600 Pros on this, it starts to tip over and I have a tip for you on that as well. So this stand, uh, again, is probably not available. It needs some screw tightening, it needs some, some loving, it, it, you know, it, again, it's pretty cheap. But this stand, you've got a knob, you open it up, and look how low it gets to the ground. That's it, that's the light stand. It is extremely low, and it's, I mean, it's got some good support on it, as you can see. Uh, it will need some tightening it over time because the screws become loose and whatnot, but this is how low it gets to the ground. And then if you need a little bit more height, you have a little bit more height to use. And this is something I use at all the time at all my sessions, whenever I have an adult, if I have a child, if we're doing a cake smash session or something like that, I don't use this because then the child will, you know, get in the way. But otherwise, this is always being used to shine a light. My background, and I'm using a mag mod to uh, get the light sort of focused where I want it. Now, if you add something heavy, like a like a big strobe, a Profoto, or Elochrome, or Godox heavy strobe, or something like that, then you need something to make sure it doesn't topple over. And that is where things like this come in handy. All this is, is an ankle weight. Literally, an ankle weight. And in fact, this one is from Gold's Gym. I have a lot of these. I, I had my own that I bought at Walmart, they're very inexpensive. These are two and a half pounds. They go up to five, 10 pounds. And then um, there's Velcro, because it's meant to go around your ankle. And then you could literally wrap it around to weigh down your light stand. And if you want, you could daisy chain them and have a bunch of them all, you know, weighing down if you need the extra weight. And I do this all the time. I do this with this light stand, and I do this with other light stands. Right now I have the Westcott Eyelighter 2 right here in front of me, and I have a light stand that's kind of wobbly, so I have the ankle weights holding down the light stand just in case. So there you go, short tip, get a background stand. Luma Pro's even making really good background stands now. This whole thing about weighing down your light stand, just in case your stand happens to topple over, make sure you have an extended warranty on your equipment. I get a Mac Worldwide warranty, their diamond warranty, on all of my equipment so that if something falls, if it drops, if there's liquid or something like that, it is fully covered. Check out the Mac Worldwide warranty available at electronic stores and camera stores around the world. Thank you, Mac, for partnering with me on this video. If you like this video, click that subscribe button below. Now I publish new videos every Monday and Thursday whenever possible. You don't wanna miss it.